I thought I'd just go over some of the questions that people have about this. They have a question, you know, will this foul the chamber of my shotgun or the barrel of my shotgun? It will not. I've shot uh, hundreds of these. They do not foul your shotgun at all. Uh, another question is, is, you know, can I put extra powder in there or can I make an extra heavy load? No, no you can't. The reason for that is, is that it will create a too much pressure chamber. You know, a shotgun round is engineered. It's, it's, you don't want to overdo the weight of it. And if you're worried about that, like if you haven't done a bunch of these and you're curious, you should have a scale. You should well weigh a stock shot shell that doesn't have any change to it. Then you should cut one up and make one like I'm showing you and weigh it. And if you're within a, a gram, I wouldn't worry about it. And while I'm talking here, I'm hoping that you're watching what I'm doing. See, the way to tell if your stuff is sticking is to dump it, okay? Because the deal is, is you definitely do not want to try and be uh, applying the glue, you know, from the top to loose shot. Because what will happen is the glue will get hung up in the glue that's coming out of the, the shot will get hung up in the glue, and it'll start getting dragged around. Okay, so once you see that your shot is in there and it won't come out, then that's when you can top it off. And then if you move your glue gun around, you're not going to be picking up little BBs. Because the whole purpose of the glue on the top is to protect you from primer strikes where a little BB might hit, you know, the primer in your magazine tube. Okay? And you can try out different amounts of glue to see what works the best for you in terms of fastest way to load them. Don't worry about glue on the outside of the shot shell. See, look, the glue, once the glue doesn't fall out, you know you've got all your shot bound. You put some more glue in, do the same thing, push it real hard, okay, and then dump it. Okay, and then put some more glue, press it real hard, and dump it. And what will happen is eventually all the shot will bind. It may take you more than three tries or whatever. You may not have the exact same effects I'm having. Okay. And that's a little bit low, but you know, you can't get them perfect each time. Now, if you get too close to the top, I wouldn't use a whole lot of glue because it's going to squish through the BBs into your fingers. That won't be fun. But as you can see, just a little dab of glue right in the center, and it pushed all around to the outside edges and held all the shot. Yeah, that one's good. Don't be disturbed by the sound of large military helicopters circling overhead. It is legal to do this. They just always circle overhead out here. I'm in a flight class. So I'm just trying to show you how fast this can go. It's not a precise thing, the way I do it anyway. I'm just pushing them in there, squishing them, dumping them out, pushing more glue. Now so far I've done about 66. This will be 7. I should be able to get 8 or 9 shells out of one glue stick with this size glue stick, this size glue gun. So you can make a lot of shot shells with just a few glue sticks, razor knife. Paper plate just helps you, you know, from having your stuff fall all over the place. So see how that doesn't fall out? Like I said, don't worry about the glue on the outside of the shot shell. It rubs right off afterwards. Once it's cool, glue does not stick very good to this plastic at all. Okay, that's basically some questions answered, I hope. I don't know if the camera has good enough sound, but hear the helicopter at least two, three times a day. So don't worry, they're not coming for me, not yet anyway. And to answer one more question, in case somebody's never seen what the inside of a shot shell looks like, one question might be, doesn't the glue glue the BBs to the inside of the hull? I mean, doesn't it make the whole hull explode or something? No. There's a power piston. There's actually a two-part power piston. And another question is, well, doesn't the glue get into the powder and keep it from igniting? Uh, no, because it's completely behind another power piston and there's no contact whatsoever between the glue and the BBs and the shot. And uh, one last thing, okay, is I prefer to call these bonded shot, shot shells because People say, you know, they call them waxers, like uh, Iraqi veterans. Well, his channel is to call them waxers. I guess that sounds cool or whatever. But you're basically bonding 
a shot together. Now you could do this a bunch of different ways. You could use epoxy, you could use hot glue, you could use, uh, you know, carpenter's glue, you know, whatever you want. There's a lot of ways you can bond this shot together. You could take a bunch of Elmer's glue and mix all your shot into a big mix of Elmer's glue and put it in there. You just have to wait a lot longer. I think the reason people like stuff like crayons and hot glue and stuff like that is because, well, I, I might be the only person that's done hot glue, I don't know. I think Iraqi veteran did it too, but the reason that you might like to use something like this is that you can use the shells very, very soon after you've made them. You don't have to wait. You can use something like carpenter's glue or epoxy or anything like that. Well, with epoxy, if you're using five minute epoxy, you've got a super short working time. And you may not be able to do, deal with it. You know, you'll be mixing little batches of epoxy all the time. If you use carpenter's glue, you're going to be waiting until the carpenter glue dries. Which, if it doesn't have access to air, if it's not near air, carpenter glue won't dry. It just stays like a green, wet mess. So I'm just saying these things are all possible. But the bottom line is you're trying to bond shot together so that all the shot will arrive on the target together and then pack off the target and, and release that kinetic energy all at once instead of as a whole bunch of tiny little pellets. And I think you've seen plenty of, uh, well if you haven't, go on YouTube and you'll find plenty of videos testing these to show you that these have a, a massive impact, very much like a foster slug. And the reason for that is because all this weight is coming together at one time. So then you get a big blast all at one time. That's basically a bonded shot, shot shells. Uh, some more questions answered, huh? And finally, just a few more questions. You know, oh, I ended up with a bunch of shot left over. Did I do it wrong? No, you did it right. The glue is displacing shot in each shell. If you end up with less shot than you started off with, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> Okay, once the hot glue dries, you can see it turns opaque. Now you look, you see the crap all over the outside of the shell? Should that bother you? No. It comes right off. It rubs right off. And so you can just rub it with your fingers, and it comes right off of there. No problem. So, you know, what you should do is after you let all the shells dry, let them dry. You know, no sense in handling hot glue, right? It hurts. Let's just go around and clean all the shells, you know. It's not a big deal. You can use your thumbnail, scrape it right off of there, use a scotch bright, whatever the heck you want. Here's 25 shot shells turned into bonded shot shot shells. And I'm going to uh, try out some long range shooting with them, see if I can hit a jug at about 100 yards uh, with my Remington 870.